Hi, this is Greg Ryan Fitness. Uh, today we are going to talk to you about Rich Trainer, Poor Trainer's sister book, Trainer Dude 100. We are going to continue our series. Uh, today we're going to combine five, part five, and six together. Uh, they are a little bit shorter than some of the other uh, chapters. However, they are no less uh, important. And matter of fact, they might be more important uh, to you in your success as a fitness trainer. Uh, last part, we talked about the psychology of personal training and freeing your mind and being creative, uh, your self-worth, how much you charge, your mindset, uh, different things like that. And today, uh, we are going to talk about Common Sense 101, The Price of Ignorance. And we are also going to talk about uh, Part uh, 6, which will be People 101 EQ versus IQ. Uh, I think these two are very important chapters in the book uh, Rich Trainer, Poor Trainer, but also in the uh, sister book Trainer Dude 100, excuse me. Uh, we're coming to you from the Colorado Rocky Mountains. One thing I enjoy about uh, my business uh, is that it provides me the lifestyle that I can go anywhere in the world and talk to you about your profession and being successful. I have positioned myself with passive income that allows me to <clears throat> fund my uh, travel and not have to worry about uh, heading to work on Monday morning, which it is tomorrow, like the rest of you. And we will talk about that in coming months uh, on my new book coming out about passive income versus actual income in the uh, fitness business. So anyway, let's get started with Common Sense 101, The Price of Ignorance. And some of this might rub you guys the wrong way, uh, and uh, that is on you, not on me, uh, when it comes to common sense in your business. Common sense is not learned or given as a gift. I believe you either have it or you don't. Practicing good judgment in your business is, a, is as important as exercising is to losing weight. When dealing with people, and this is a people business, your business, or the profession, incorporating a common sense approach to things is the best way. It's important to understand that it will take you twice as long and much more energy and money to succeed without it, assuming that you do. Let's go over a few common sense things uh, in the book, Rich Trainer, Poor Trainers, uh, Rich Dude, Poor Dad. Excuse me, trainer dude. I got my mind on too many things here. Uh, okay, number 36. Ignorance is the absence of common sense. Ignorance is the absence of common sense. What does this mean? What this means is without having a common sense approach to your business, you will most likely not see failure coming. This is not rocket scientists. Science. This business is a lot simpler than most of you can hear. It's about incorporating common sense into it and putting yourself in other people's shoes. If you get too logical and too certification-esque, then you will lose your clients, I have found over the years. You have to combine both uh, knowledge, education, and common sense. Without them, you're just not going to succeed. Number 37, ego is a money stealer. Humility is a money giver. In other words, your ego will cost you more money than anything else in your career. We talked about this a little bit in part four of, of psychology of Trainer Dude 100. And it is bare to note it once again. Your ego will cost you more money than anything else in your career. I believe I truly believe that the most priceful thing as a personal trainer is their ego. So, be careful. You have to insert some common sense in here. Number 38, for, in the Common Sense 101, 
Storytell for money. What does this mean? Storytell for money? Here's what it means. Here's what I've learned over the years. If people can relate to your story, then you've got them emotionally connected. Common sense is sometimes in the form of a story. Don't be afraid to tell your story. Don't be afraid to tell others' story upon their permission or use different names. Whether it's this book or the 46 other books that I have written, I'm really not the best writer, but I am a good storyteller. And I do believe in the fitness training business, it is the same way. We are storytellers. We use common sense. We use empathy, whatever it might be. But common sense is sometimes comes in the form of a story. Never forget that. Number 39, common sense may cost you a few cents. C-E-N-T-S. Practicing good judgment in your business may cost you a penny in the beginning, but in the end will allow you to have more sense. Never underestimate the power of common sense. You will not see its benefits right away, but over time, it will pay dividends. People will relate to you, people will continue to stay with you, and your retention rate on your business will be higher if you incorporate some common sense practical, everyday life things into your business. Number 40, lack of common sense pretty much sank the ship Titanic. If you think that you are above reproach or your business is better than the rest, your business is already sinking and it's only a matter of time. If you don't incorporate common sense, everyday knowledge, into your personal training business, you will develop an ego. And you'll also develop an attitude that you are unsinkable. And I will warn you right now, the second you feel you're unsinkable, the iceberg will appear. And the thing about the iceberg is you only see 10% of it. It's the danger that lies beneath that you can't see that sank the Titanic. The lack of common sense sank the Titanic. Don't let it sink you. That is a short chapter or part in Trainer Dude 100, but maybe the best one to keep the glue into your business. Let's continue on and let's talk about People 101 Part 6, EQ versus IQ. Success is measured in relationships, not numbers, I believe. People are attracted to caring more than they are knowing. EQ, or emotional intelligence, which goes along with common sense, reaches hearts more than IQ. Now let me note this. Every person is different. So your approach must be as well. If you master the art of people, and the cash will be there for the taking... Here are some of the skills that I've learned when it comes to people. Never underestimate emotional intelligence over IQ. I have found the people that incorporate common sense more than schooling make more money and keep their clients. It is what it is. 40, 41. Relationships equal retention. In other words, invest in developing professional relationships with clients and the financial payoff will be long term. This is a relationship business. This is not a numbers business. People know it. Develop a relationship with them, but don't cross the line. It's professional through and through, period, day in and day out. If you do this and develop a professional relationship consistently, this will equal into Better retention for your clients. Period. Number 42. EQ or emotional intelligence is more important and lucrative than IQ, intellectual intelligence. In other words, motivating people is more emotional than intellectual. Learning about people and the X's and O's are easy. But here's the thing. Everybody is different. Everybody's motive and inspired by different things. If you think this is a cookie cutter business, you're wrong. If you want to know how successful you are or how you are in tune with your 
clients, just look at your income and the retention of your business. Number 43, one size does not fit all. One size does not fit all. In other words, one type of exercise approach does not work for everyone. You have to address personality types to succeed. This is very important. A type A is not going to be susceptible, or receptible, I should say, to a passive approach. A type B will walk away if you get right in their face. You have to know people. You have to know the approach. If you don't, you will not succeed. And what is it? If you want to know about your business, look at your retention span. Number 44, give responsibility and expect accountability. Give responsibility and expect accountability. Let's be honest. We're here to empower people. There's a difference between motivation and inspiration. People feel better about themselves when you're accomplishing things or assignments. They do. However, sometimes they need to make, be made to do so. This is a tricky one. I believe that most trainers do not keep their clients because they are afraid of fear of loss, that they will lose their clients in the end if they tell them the truth. I believe that people come to us to, to exercise for accountability, knowledge, and motivation, but most of all, accountability. And if you were afraid that you were going to lose them because you can't tell them the truth, you will end up losing them in the end. I made more money by holding people accountable than 99% of the trainers out there today. People feel better about themselves when you, they accomplish things and are, have assignments. 45. Train based on personality. Two types of personalities need two different approaches. I just talked a little bit about that. It does not mean that your exercise knowledge is, is less. It just means you have to mesh your exercise foundations with the personality type that is seeking your advice. If you learn this, your clients will increase their retention span by over 75%, I'll guarantee you. Number 46, assumptions are very expensive. In other words, do not make assumptions about people's income, likeness of view, buying power, or commitment level. I have left so much money on the table because I assumed that a Jimmy Buffett type comes into my office and they can't afford my services. Then I look at the guy riding in the Mercedes and I'm like, oh boy, well he's over leveraged. Do not assume that your clients cannot afford your services. I have left so much money on the table, it is sickening. I do not assume anymore. Number 47, give people what they need, not what they want. Give people what they need, not what they want. Yes, I had to repeat that again. Hold people accountable to their goals. They want that. In the end, they are empowered if you... Encourage them through accountability and tough love. But you have to have the right approach. It's not what people need. It's, excuse me. It's not what people want. Give people what they need. In the end, you will financially and emotionally be rewarded. And number 48 out of this chapter of uh, people skills, EQ versus IQ in Trainer Dude 100 is people don't expect you to know everything but they do expect honesty. Honesty. I am telling you right now, me using the word no in my profession as a fitness trainer has made me more money than any other word that I could ever have used in 35 years of doing this. People don't expect you to know everything. And if you BS them, they will know it. But they do expect honesty. And if you are comfortable with yourself, then you will give them honesty. Admit it when you do not know an answer by, honest, by being honest all the time. That is no, there is no wishy wiggle room here. You either do or you don't. If you don't, it will come back to hot you. So remember, EQ, emotional intelligence, is more lucrative than IQ. 
Okay, we've gone through those pretty fast today, but I do believe common sense and EQ is one of the most foundation, biggest foundations to keep the glue into your personal training business. If you want more information uh, on my coaching, you can email me at gregryanfitness at yahoo.com. This is Greg Ryan coaching coming from the wonderful mountains of Colorado saying good day.